another guy, not to try to divide and micro-target their way to electoral success, but people who are committed to making the world work better for everyone, to understanding the challenges we're facing around the economy, challenges that are faced not just here in Canada, but all around the world, and responding them to, to, uh, uh, responding them, to them in a positive, hopeful, meaningful way that leaves room for everyone's success. That's why when I started this campaign, I focused on the middle class. I focused on the fact that over the past 30 years, even though the Canadian economy has grown more than 100%, median family income has increased by only 14%. That means average Canadians haven't had a raise in over 30 years. No wonder people are wondering for the first time if indeed the next generation might not have the same kind of quality of life, the same kind of opportunities that this generation has. So in order to be able to challenge that, in order to be able to think and find new solutions, we're going to need a different kind of candidate. We're going to need a different kind of MP, someone who is committed to working on the ground and reflecting and engaging with the problems of people in neighborhoods, but also thinking about the big picture and how Canada can once again be a role model for the world of opportunity, of economics, and of community success. And that's why I am so excited to be able to introduce officially for the first time our candidate for Toronto Centre and the next MP for Toronto Centre, Tricia Freeman.